Okay. Can you tell it's Christmas? <laughs> See, even the I supplied them little lights. And Mrs. H has arranged them. So we've got a bit of Christmas in the shaving bathroom. Welcome to Sunday, to the Sunday shave, weekend shave. And uh, I hope you've done well since I've seen you last on Wednesday. And the week's gone good for you. In uh, any which way. Be it work, pleasure, whatever. Um, this is a surprise shave for me because I didn't expect this product here. And it's uh, the club, the shaving shop club, A and E, uh, Ariana and Evans. That's it. Peter, thank you very much, Peter Shakalis. You may know his shaving with Sharky's channel. I'll put a link to his channel in the description, in the links below this video. Actually, it's um, it's a new soap that's been released. If uh, you're a member of the Shave Shop Club and you become a VIP member, if you apply to be a VIP member, this soap is available. There's a lot of soaps in there, but this is one of them. It's a new, new one released on Friday, I believe, the 7th. Um, and the scent is amazing. Just see what I've taken out there. I wish I wish we did have smell a smelling app. Oh, beautiful. Now, I know it's going to be a good soap because I've used his soaps before, or their soaps before. Um, so this is their signature soap. And um, <clears throat> what they, they had an event soap called The Loft. And they wanted to sort of up the notes of bourbon and tobacco to make it more manly, more masculine, uh, the scent. And it's certainly done that. And the notes on this one are bourbon and tobacco absolute and sandalwood. And they've blended Arabian sandalwood, Tunisian sandalwood and added some agar wood in there. So it's very woody. Uh, and I love that, that type of scent. But again, I've said this before, it's a type of soap, if you smell it, you think, you know, you'd wear it to a special event, like a, or you'd use it in a, maybe on a special holiday or a wedding or a, something like that. It's, you know, it's really nice, one of these I call a high-end scent. So, really nice. And some splash was it? It's a premium splash. Uh, beautiful. Looks like milk. So, really nice. Look at that. Even a seal. Ah, it's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> right, brush. Well, before the brush, we're going to use the razor. But we can... So, vintage. I've, um, I've said I'm using my older soaps. Well, this is a new one. Uh, and I've filmed this in this shave, really, because it was um, just been released. So, to give people the idea, or the idea, the information that it's there. We're going to use this, the Gillette Black Beauty, and uh, absolutely stunning razor. Adjustable, twist to open, and inside I've got, for its second shave, the Persona Med Prep Blade. Now if you've got good eyes, which I haven't, you may see on the bottom there, for hospital use only. <laughs> And what setting are we going to use this on? I always open them first. It's on setting number five. Um, yeah, we'll leave it on five. Yeah, okay. Um, there is overhang to be aware of. Somebody did ask in the comments, uh, where are you likely to be caught by the overhang? You know, why is it so important to mention it? Well, it's important to mention it so you know it's there. It's always be aware of any razor you use if it's got any overhang. And the reason for that is if you're not aware of it, and you're half asleep or you're you know, not concentrating, you can do something silly like just move the razor like that and it'll cut you, slice you. But you usually cop it here and here when you're going across the, just under the nose. That's for me. But common sense. Once you know it's there, you tend to be mindful of it. But anyway, let's get on with it. So I've put some of the soap in there. Brush. A brush I've not used for a while. This is a... Wait a minute. 24mm uh, Silver Tip Badger Yaki Professional brush. I've used it before. It's a, like a marbling black handle 
marbling uh, effect and I'm using it because of the black really to match whether it works I don't know right now this is a thirsty soap he likes a drink so I'm not it's it's wet but it's not dripping and we'll go straight in using my bowl no ridges in it and you can create a nice lather thank you <laughs> click click so you had a good week God, it's hard to believe in about two is it two weeks two and a half weeks is Christmas I know because it's mad busy in work so I'm just gonna dip this in water It's a nice scent, I've said this before, some soaps are nice from the puck and they smell as nice when you've lathered them. Some soaps smell nice from the puck and not as nice when you've lathered them um, and vice versa. But this one, a bit more water, it likes to drink like I say, it smells nice in there but it smells a bit nicer in the lather. <laughs> but I like anything woody, anything musky, woody type almost spicy but I can I can smell the bourbon that's nice nice like a sweetness really look at that beautiful but it's very woody look at that loaded so we'll try that shall we I just rinse the face make sure we're okay we keep it wet <laughs> And we'll go for it. Here. Oh, here we go. Wow, that's a nice brush. Well, I can tell you one thing I can feel straight away is the slickness. Wow. Wow, that's nice. Smell that. <sighs> VIP. Very nice, right? Just warm the razor up. And here we go. First pass, setting number five, Black Beauty. W3, so I'll put the date, I can't think offhand now when it was made. And I tell you what, that feels that feels um absolutely beautiful. It feels uh the blade exposure and on setting five that feels quite aggressive, sort of mid to aggressive in between. Wow, that's so slick on the first. That's good. Wow, the scent is beautiful. As I say, it's something you'd. Well, I would associate using to go to a wedding or a, some sort of event. Or even out with friends, maybe. That's a good blader. Second use is sort of in its prime. It's very nice, very nice. The scent isn't overpowering. It's not strong, but it's it's just present. It's there. It's nice. That's a nice first pass, wow. 
be interesting now to see well I just rinse this if I can feel that slicker yeah see so <laughs> that's nice can depend on your water as well so you know that plays a big part in lathers and slickness and things uh, what type of water you've got and, and I've said to some people have used soaps they see other people having a lovely lather and they can't they live in a very hard water area or something and they just cannot understand they can't get a lather well a good thing I suggested to someone just a, an idea is buy some bottled water and uh, boil that up or warm it up whatever um, and try making a lather with that see if it's a difference um, you know this can and if you do get a good lather then you know it is your water it's you know there's no such issues in this shave thank you very much he's doing anything nice the weekend apart from shaving of course or watching someone shave <laughs> beautiful this there's something about creating a lather as well isn't there just something Look at the peak there. Oh, beautiful. I forgot how good this brush is, I think. I thought it was a 26mm knot, this, but it's not, it's a 24 I'll put a link to them as well in the... in the description, so... I try and put links to things I use well I can uh, hopefully it'll help people if they're trying to find anything otherwise you thank you very much otherwise just sit back and enjoy second pass keep it on setting five this is where the overhang you gotta be careful you can see See how close it is. Like I say, once you know it's there and you're always aware when you use a razor with an overhang, it becomes second nature then you just something in the back of your head, you know, says watch for the overhang. But it does catch you out sometimes. You know, if if I'm doing something and I turn quickly or do you can ooh, Split second. Beautiful razor this. Black beauty. One of my Parker's looks similar to this. I forgot the number now, the name of it. Not the 96 R is it, I think. I'm not sure. But um, this one's adjustable, obviously. And as I say, with this blade, on that setting, five, which is roughly halfway, feels good, sort of mid to aggressive. Nothing along the lines of the future or the R41, but you understand what I mean, hopefully. Slickness, wow. Good job, really good job on this. No one does available, just the VIPs. <laughs> Feel like a VIP using it. And we're all important, aren't we? We're all very important people. in one way and another. Wow, that's nice. Good audio feedback. Wow. To that wind. <laughs> that's beautiful. Wow. Okay. Hands. Rubbing this excess 
soaping, you're not wasting anything. And when you're Welsh, that's a good thing. <laughs> I didn't need to use it. I didn't use a lot of soap, but I didn't, use, didn't need to use that much really. As you can see, look at that. This is a proper shame. Look at that. Superb job. Absolutely. Look at that, I'm going to... No, it's not a meringue. <laughs> Look at that. Good grief. Absolutely amazing stuff. Wow. If you want a beautiful scent, lather that explodes this is your stuff look at this <laughs> try and keep clean away already made a mess of my shirt Really nice mixture, I'm glad I used this. I really only use this as I say because of the black um, and I wanted to use you know vintage razor but um, well good choice. So here we go against the growth, same setting, I'm not going to adjust it today. Just want to enjoy the, enjoy the moment. And a good thing with it, it's it's slick, but it doesn't hamper the shave, if you know what I mean. There's no glide. Mind you, it's on a good setting five, so like I say, it's a mid to aggressive setting for me on the on this. But um, it's not. There's no gliding over. Mm. Really like the scent. If you like woody type of, you know, the that type of scent is really nice. Tobacco, bourbon. I can smell that bourbon in this. And usually I'm just the wood notes, you know, the wood, but not. I can just smell a sweetness of. Like okay. it, really nice. It works. You can hear that audio, can you? The... Right, Sunday dinner. What are we having? It was going to be duck because I was given um, given one, but uh, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to have another piece of pork. I, I bought a big piece of pork and I've cut it into two uh, or three. Was it? Well, it was the last piece with crackling and there's going to be um, st steamed potatoes. I'm going to do some roast potatoes as well, uh, broccoli, cauliflower and lashentos of gravy and there'll be some uh, crackling on the skin you know the beautiful wow 
Wow, that's lovely. And um, I've, oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Go on, feel her. I wish you could. <laughs> right, what time is it? Clean up first. Three, two, one. It's pickup time, baby. And light. <coughs> that's fantastic. Now I like, as you know, thick, pasty. Now this soap does like a drink, likes water. And it works very well with it. But I'm not adding any there, so I'm gonna really enjoy this. Can you hear the wind outside? Wow. It was windy Friday night into um, Saturday. This is where double chins come in. All right, they're not trebles. Just a bit there. That's the bit. Beautiful. Rinse off. Now what are you didn't say cold water. Because I'm not using thayers. So Adam's ale is gonna be my uh, thayers today. And the reason is I want to use this splash. And I want to lean it on the skin, not only for the scent, but to see how it feels on the skin. And then I may add moisturiser later on. But uh, at the moment, cold water. And this is what, this is all you used years ago, just water, either cold or warm. And that's the result. I did catch that. Now, signature. Premium Splash. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, that smells nice. Wow. Large spout in this one. Careful. It's like milk. Wow. Do you know I can smell there? Bourbon. Now I've never drank or tasted, but well no, I have tasted it once, bourbon. So the whiskey type of, uh, that smells lovely. I'm trying to think about it. Something else that reminds me of, beautiful. Did something drop out? Yeah. 
towel. Oh, go on then. God, blimey. Very nice. Look at that, I like the cork stopper. I'll take this off, obviously, after the... But, um, just left it on for you lot. It doesn't leak. Beautiful. Uh, so that's it. There's no, um, as I say, no no thayers or no um, cream. I'm just going to leave that. I just want to... Because sometimes these, that smells nice now. But you need about 20, 30 minutes for it to give its true scent. As I say, when you go to an aftershave shop, you go in and you smell things and you get overwhelmed and you think... Oh. So I like to put something on and I say, right, I'll be back. So I might put one there, one there, one there, and one there. You know, four cents and I'll go off, come back. That's my favourite there. Oh, that was the whatever. And I'll have a note, you know, just to... Maybe that's just me, I don't know. Anyway, it feels beautiful on the skin. Gillette W3 Black Beauty. Beautiful. Set in five on the three, well, the four passes really with the pickup. Uh, used the Med Prep Blade, second use. It felt mid to aggressive, just on the aggressive side. Felt lovely, nice and smooth, no issues at all. Used the Club Signature Soap. Um, Shaving Shop Club, A and E, uh, really nice, very nice. The scent's nice from the puck. It's a crop. Um, I like the woodiness of a scent anyway, and uh, it lathers up easy. Likes a drink. Very slick on the face from the first pass. Um, glide is good, and the scent is slightly better in in lather form for me, so which is good. Uh, so yeah, in my book, success that. Should be very pleased with that. Um, VIP section only. <laughs> and then of course we use the 24mm silver tip badger yaki brush. Professional. Yaki professional. Uh, really nice. My own bowl. And then rinsed with Adam's Ale. Good old cold Welsh water. Dour Cymru. And then the signature premium splash and really nice like milk nice really nice very happy so I'm gonna cook now pork are you coming around I'll get a, I'll get a plate ready for you <laughs> that'll be good it? and you can have a shave after send you upstairs you can have a shave right that's it leave you to it have a great weekend have some great shaves if you're gonna have any thanks for all your comments and for watching these and for your support it does mean a lot to me and um, thank you to A&E, thanks to Peter, and thank you to the Club Signature Soap. Fantastic. All the best, and I'll see you on Wednesday for the uh, midweek shave. You take care of yourselves.